Hi Luxurious Queens, as we are still in the no buy challenge for this month and it is nearly impossible I will be possessing any of these bags from now till the end of February, I would say it is a safe time to share with you the latest of the Hermes 2021 Fall Winter Collection which officially debuts 5 new Hermes bags which I will share with you today and of which one has caught my eye in particular. For those of you new here, hello, 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 my name is Loki and I enjoy chit-chatting about all things Hermes and vintage luxury but still being a mindful consumer. So if this sings with you, then I hope you subscribe and join my little corner and let's have a chat. And oh, do remember to hit that bell so that we can connect whenever my videos upload. Let's jump right in. First and foremost, I have to give credit to Jess Gill who is such a gorgeous YouTuber who also enjoys luxury and does lovely lifestyle videos as well. So do check out her YouTube channel which I will leave the link down below. Well, it was just early this month where I shared about the 11 new Hermes bags for 2022 with new Birkins and Kellys for us to feast our eyes on and it was Jess who told me all about this new bag from their 2021 collection and I was like, oops, did I miss something? Anyway, relax because it is from a different collection and I feel that it may be something that you ladies will be interested in because I fell in love the moment I saw this bag. Drum rolls and it is the Hermes Getta. Look, this is such a gorgeous beauty and there isn't much information about this bag online yet so I will try my best to share with you what I know. The Hermes Geta is inspired by the Japanese traditional sandals or clocks called the Geta. It kind of resembles the western flip-flops except that it has a wooden base which is elevated and keeps the foot raised above the ground. This messenger bag is built like a small box and not only is this beautiful bag named after the traditional Geta, its buckle design is, is, is inspired by the Geta as well. And how so? Well, the H buckle is not like a constant, but just imagine this, that this H buckle stretches below and across the width of the bag, which I will show you an image here for some idea. I guess the main highlight which I get excited about and is worth the mention is the construction of this signature clasp, which replaces the base studs to form, uh, and from the front view, it really looks like the traditional sandals but with the back elevated by the H logo. Apart from this amazing design, the shoulder strap, which, all, which is almost the width of the back, stretches down the side and under into the H class and up again. Apparently, there is a sliding device at the bottom of the back that can adjust the length of the shoulder strap. I am not sure the exact mechanism, but it sure sounds sleek. For me, and probably for a few others, I really love the Hermes Constance, but probably the only thing holding me back is the class closure, which I have tried and modelled on several occasions because I was that close to buying one, but not an absolute fan of the class closure, plus I really don't like my fingerprints or, or scratches over the H gold buckle. But from the looks of this Hermes Geta, the H buckle seems to be in my sole leather with the metal hardware as the frame. So this may be my dream bag after all. Another aesthetic which I adore is that the Hermes Geta is perfectly symmetrical, which is a far cry from the Hermes Colormatic collection of Birkins and Kellys which we talked about before. Next up, we have the Hermes Picotin Lock Pockets in golden canvas and Swift's calf skin. So it looks just like the Picotin lock we all know but with added pockets all around the side. So imagine an extra canvas material surrounding the entire bag but of a lower height which then gives us 4 extra pockets which is kind of divided by a stitching down the sides. I feel that this design gives us a very utilitarian vibe just like the Hermes Cargo Birkin and the Kelly Luckets. And with the canvas material, it will be so much lighter than the full leather picotin which is very practical for running errands in. Talking about utilitarian, we have the Hermes Hermes Way Holder which is a 4-in-1 bag, namely a cut slot, a lipstick slot, an airport slot and a larger hold everything slot. If not already obvious enough, its main priority is practicality and functionality. 
It comes with a thin adjustable strap which can be worn as a crossbody or over the shoulders or around the neck or help just like a clutch. Talking about practicality, we have the Hermes Virgin 3-in-1 which is another favourite of mine from the collection. It looks like the regular Birkin with an added removable pochette with a little flap which, look, which can hook onto the main bag. This little pochette can, use, can be used separately as a clutch which is one look, hooked onto the bag which functions as a side pocket, look two, or just a regular Birkin which is the third look. With the various potential ways you can carry this bag, I think it is value for money in terms of cost per wear because you can use this bag and its accompanying accessories for different occasions which covers you from day to night. Number 4 is the Hermes Kelly plush handbag in merino and cashmere trims. It is a variation of the Teddy Kelly in Sherling material from the 2005 Fall Winter Women's Fashion Show in Sherling rims but with replaced merino, merino cashmere piping. And the last bag from this collection is the Bosu Salier, which is a shoulder sling bag with an iconic belt closure. Think of the Hermes Vero, but with a metal hardware belt closure. Well, we have come to the end of this video and as you can tell from my bias sharing, I am in love with the Hermes Geta from this collection and I do look forward to checking out this bag in the Hermes Boutique. I know that some of you have already got your hands on them and do share the intricate details of this bag with us someday. I hope you enjoyed today's sharing session and do hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Just a heads up, I have actually sold one of my Hermes bags in my collection so stay tuned to find out which bag I sold and why next week. Till we meet again, take care and goodbye queens.